one time. Expect armed resistance. The strength of the fortifications remains unknown. Your foes have committed treason. You fight them for the good of the duchy. Captain de la Torre will give you the details. Geralt, good you're here. Ready to attack Duntine? See you already prepared a plan. Walk me through it. We have two objectives. To find her illustrious highness's sister and capture the man who blackmailed the vampire. Duntine is a modest complex. Several old buildings, a high wall around them. At the center of the enclosure stands an imposing keep, restored not long past by the elderly knight of the castle, Roderick. We mean to strike here, through the main gate, then secure the area in front of the keep by storm. How many men defend Duntine, you know? Roderick maintains a team of knights for defense. They are no army, but they could number several dozen. Also, Roderick recently took in a band of foreign mercenaries. About them we know very little. Sintrian's men, gotta be. Ran into a few in town. They tried to kill me. Need to hit them from both sides. You draw the defenders, keep them busy. I'll sneak in the back way, find the women, make sure they come to no harm. I'll vault over the wall as soon as you start your assault. Your plan puts you at great risk. But I sense you will handle it well. Let us go. So it begins. Quick! We grab Roderick's horses and we bolt. We won't vault far if the boys out front don't hold. Not so fast. Little change of plans. He's looking to flee. Can't let him. I see no ducals along the road. Faster! Look, the street was right. We can't flee. We'll manage. Someone's here. They've breached the back wall. Come on. Kill him. No mercy. Damn company. Sintrian's men, where are they? Uh, I knew. Shouldn't have let them under my roof. Where's the hostage, the woman? What? What, what do you mean? I know nothing about a hostage. Must, must be the handiwork of my guests. Where are they now? In, in the keep. Ready in their escape. There's someone with them, woman named Siana. 
Of, of course. She, she convinced me to let them in. And a whole pile of trouble along with them. Where is she? Pack, packing. We were to leave together. An old fool. I'd have done anything for her. Where is she? In the keep too? It, yes. Her chamber is in the tower. The top floor. What? What will become of me? Here, press it against the wound. Should staunch the bleeding. I... I thank you. What is happening? This one! Kill the shit like stuff! Oh. Giving you one last chance. Yield. And Harlot got us into this. Kill him! Attack! shall pay for everything! Use our help. So, Witcher, this is no time to explain. Where is Renner? Expect to answer a lot of questions inside. Let us go then. Never let them hurt me. I just waited for you to come. I... I didn't know where to look. They threatened to kill you. I... Forgive me. 
I failed you. Now we need only find Anna Henrietta's sister. Where should we look? Do you know? Mm-hmm. Ran into Roderick, Duntine's lord. Told me where I'd find Sienna. Then speak and let's grab her. Time is short. Said she was in a room in the tower. Very one we're in right now. Which, incidentally, looks nothing like a prison cell. And just so happens there's a carafe full of wine here. Bet it's stolen Saint Real. What's your point? Giving you one chance to tell us everything yourself. I've nothing to tell. Witcher, what is this? Sorry, Deadlaff. You've been had. My friend, please. You must listen to what Geralt has to say. Rena's not her real name. This is Sienna, and Sienna is sister to Anna Henrietta, the Duchess of Toussaint. What? What nonsense is this? Sienna was banished as a child, but it seems she trekked back here recently, moved into Duntine, and ran a Vandergild out of here. Sent a man called the Centrian to Beauclair to steal some wine for her. Wine reserved for the Ducal family. Centrian led us to her. Caught him later stealing a jewel Sienna had gotten from her father as a child. Hmm. Sorry, Deadloff. She used you. Part of her plan. to the ground. This, I promise you. You've three days. I shall be waiting. he just fly off? He did not wish to act rashly. He's gone to soothe his nerves. Think he'll do it? Make good on his threat? I cannot say. He can be unpredictable when fury consumes him. I shall go to him. Come again? After what he just... You don't know Detlaf like I do. If I don't do as he says, he truly will destroy the city. He's more than capable of it. Conscience gets to you now? Better... Uh, better late than never, right? Well, it truly does seem the best option. Your Grace, we must proceed with caution. Guardsmen saw vampires here. They could still be about. Vampires or no vampires, my sister is here. Find her. Your grace, that... Sianna, it's true. It's you, sister, dear. What have you gotten yourself into? So concerned, I'm surprised. Is there an ounce of truth to it? You... You feel resentment. I understand. But I promise. Promise we shall work through all the unfortunate matters of the past. We will discuss them later. Captain, escort Sianna to the palace. I shall meet with her as soon as we return. As you wish, Your Grace. And you, Witcher. You have my thanks. I cannot believe my sister was so near the whole time. Roderick of Duntine shall answer for treason and blackmail. Roderick got duped and used, just like the vampire. Apropos, were you able to establish who kidnapped his beloved? We've discovered Siana blackmailed the vampire ordered him to kill those men. What? 
What nonsense is this? She is his missing lover. Staged her own abduction to force him to do her bidding. He was a tool. Whole scheme was Siana's. She was behind it. You're mistaken. You must be. This cannot be true. Your Grace, I know this vampire and... What? You know him? Who is he? Detmarf. The same who so recently sat at my table and told me of Nazar. Is there anything else you've neglected to mention? A dragon living beneath Mount Gorgon, perhaps? Is anyone else here a vampire? Where is he now? Waiting for Siana. If she doesn't show up to meet him by an appointed time, he'll destroy Beauclair. He dares threaten us? Your Grace, we have three days to bring him Siana and... Not a word. You have three days to bring me his head. No more secrets. No more helping vampires. I want what I'm paying for. The head of the beast. Do you think Her Grace's nerves have been calmed? Doubt it. Rarely forgets, rarely retracts what she says, especially not threats. Yes, well, even I must admit Detlaf's actions were highly inappropriate. Reprehensible, even. Are you upset? Why would I be? Hmm, let's see. You're returning from your hunt empty-handed. No trophy. No new lead to boast of, then pursue. What can I say? It happens at times. Especially likely to when the monster I'm chasing can turn into fog. How do your employers customarily react when you fail to meet their expectations? <sighs> it depends. Peasants cuss me out. Merchants demand I refund their deposit. Whereas nobles mostly just release their hounds. And rumors? Usually threaten me with the gallows. A most illustrious grace awaits the gentleman. Your grace, the population demands she be punished. Siona's committed terrible crimes. Spilt so much blood. They... Another word, Palmerin, and I shall spill even more blood. Yours. I repeat for the last time, Siana is responsible for the death of many, true, but she is also my sister. We are bound by blood and by a shared childhood. I shall not allow her to be lynched. Your Grace, I fear the masses might rise. Storm the prison, pitchforks and torches in hand. Let them storm. They will not find her there. Siana is hidden away in a safe place. She shall await trial there until we have rid ourselves of this accursed vampire. Which, to judge by your means, has not yet come to pass. Did what we could, but... My patience is at an end, Geralt. Where is he? Where is Detlaf? Don't know. I lost his trail. Is this all you have to say? I respect your grace. All I can say is the truth. Ah. At times, I hunt for... Do you know how it works? The ducal huntsman releases the hounds, they catch the fox's scent, chase the animal down, and lead the bachu to it. All within an hour. You, Witcher, have had a week. The aid of my most excellent knights. Yet, you have tracked absolutely nothing down. I've begun to suspect my beagles might have done a better job. We'll catch him, Your Grace, sooner or later. I should hope so, Witcher. For the sake of all Beauclair, and yours. But to the matter at hand. Have you managed to establish anything? Your Grace, it seems Siana tricked Detlaf, used him to murder the knights who escorted her into exile. We have reason to believe that... Your Grace! Vampires! What? Speak now! 
Vampires! Oh, they protect the city! Captain Delator defends the square near the boat landing, but so many lives lost! Damn it. If it's war this Detlef wants, it's war he shall have. Geralt, get to work. This time I'll hear no excuses. Palmer and you... <gasps> Siana failed to appear as summoned, and there. Detlef is not making idle threats. Seems not. Need to make some serious plans of our own now. It's gone too far, damn it. Regis, you mentioned there was a way to draw Detlef out. A way you've avoided resorting to so far because you thought it was too dangerous. Is that how I put it? Do forgive me, but I've misled you terribly. The word dangerous is simply a scandalous understatement in this case. Regis. Another inner monologue growing out of a personal dilemma. Just tell me how to flush Detloff out, force him to meet, please. In due course. But first, Geralt, I'd like you to consider the alternative. After all, you could fulfill Detloff's demand and liberate his beloved Siana. Think Detloff still believes Siana's innocent? I believe he suspects something. He must. And he seeks to understand what happened. And for that, he's declared war on the entire duchy? What can I say? Moderation was never his strong suit. Really want to free Siana? Hand her over to Dedloff? Refuse to accept you consider that wise. It's hard to believe, I know. But Dedloff is not actually evil, merely impulsive. He needs but meet with her, speak with her, and he will spare the city. Mm. So say I agree to this, because I might. Still no chance Anna Henrietta will. I do not recall ever suggesting we ask her permission. The meeting. What if it's nothing like you say? What if it goes sour, ends in a fight? Willing to guarantee Siana won't get hurt? It seems unlikely in the extreme that... Didn't ask for a lecture on probability. Need a simple answer. Yes or no. I vow that not a hair on her head shall come to any harm. Got serious reservations about this plan. Not least among them, we have no idea where Siana's being held. You heard the Duchess. She's not at the prison. Hardly a reservation. More of an excuse. I'm certain you'll find her. You must merely decide you wish to. Hmm. Could ask Damien. Duchess treats him like a lapdog. Keeps him close most times. He might know something more. There, you see? I knew you'd think of something. Bravo. I trust I've dispelled your doubts, then. Not so fast. We're not done talking. How would I go about luring Detlaf out of hiding if I wanted to? With the blood of a virgin? You see, somewhere nearby lives an unusual denizen, one of the unseen, ancient and powerful vampires, among the oldest and strongest. Mm-hmm, and? Tusa is this unseen elder's territory. 
All vampires owe him fealty while they are here. He need but say the word, designate a time and place, and Detlaf will be forced to appear. So this unseen elder, how do we convince him to summon Detlaf? We must find him first. The elder does not see arrivals unless he absolutely must. But locals, Oriana, for instance, you know, she too is a... Yeah, figured it out. All right, let's say she gets me in to see the Unseen Elder. What then? I don't know. You'll have to improvise, I suppose. Hmm. So I'm basically stuck. Either gotta give in to a blackmailer, or fight him. You know what I would opt for? Should we free Siana and arrange for her to meet with Detlaf? There's a good chance we'll all survive this ordeal. Detlaf included. Regis, don't mean to put you on the spot, but I gotta know. Say I do decide to fight Detlaf, who will you stand with? Should you decide your sword is the sole solution, I shall not stand in your way. Appreciate it. Certainly hope so. Now, please tell me, what is it you intend to do? No idea. Need to think. Not an easy choice. Understood. Permit me to leave you to wrestle with this dilemma. I'm needed in the city. I cannot stop what is happening, but I can try to limit the number of victims. Once you've decided and learned something, perhaps, whisper a word to the ravens. I shall find you. The guard brings peace to our domains. Flaunt its victim,
Must be in the bank. Barricaded themselves inside. <laughs> Slaughtered half my unit. See, it came damn close to slaughtering you as well. Need to withdraw. You and your men. Now. My duty lies with the city. Won't help the city by leading your men to the slaughter. Damien, conversation back at the palace, remember? I'll say it again. Your men don't stand a chance. to the wounded and prepare to march out. Doing the right thing. Now listen close. Silver. That's what you want to use against vampires. Your alchemists order them to produce as much vampire oil as they can, churn it out in gallons, then coat your blades with it. Keep an eye out for Alps and Bruxe. The shapely ones resemble women. They're one moment, gone the next. Bombs containing silver splinters are a pretty good idea. Thank you, Witcher. I hope you're worth the coin the Duchess pledged you. And that you'll return with the head of the wretch that did this, skewered on a hook. Your problem's my problem now. Leave it to me. I'll solve it. How? All I can say just now is I'm gonna need Sianna. You know the Duchess's decision. Sianna awaits her trial. In custody. Yeah, I know it. Doesn't mean I have to agree with it. You've that luxury. I do not. I've sworn my loyalty to her grace. Can't force you. Won't try. But I'd urge you to ask yourself a question. How you feel tomorrow when you bury more soldiers while knowing you might have prevented their deaths, but chose not to even try? <sighs> See, I'm wasting my time here. Wait. When... When last I saw Sianna, her grace was escorting her to the palace playroom. Playroom? As in, for children? You sure? I've served in the Ducal Palace for years. I know it's every corner. So yes, I am damn sure. Playroom? So what, Duchess locked Sianna up in a dollhouse? Honestly, I've no clue. Look, I've told you what I saw. What you do with it is no concern of mine. Got it. I'll look into it. You get back to your barracks. Retrace my steps. Path ought to be clear. somewhere very much so now be kind enough to step aside chaos in the city know what's going on naturally it's rather irritating bloodbath in the streets that's irritating 
I'd probably use a stronger term. Well, you know, I'm getting on in years. Not easily impressed. Takes a bit more to get me worked up. Yeah, I suppose empathy's not something I associate with vampires. I suspected you would guess. Wasn't hard. Not like you tried hard to hide it. Should I have? Well, I am a witcher. And thus my foe? That depends entirely on you. Need to, uh, see your unseen. Convince him to stop dead love. Heard you could help me with that. <sighs> my, my. It seems my dear Regis needs to be reprimanded. He's become rather indiscreet. And you, there are simpler ways to commit suicide. A number of bridges you could jump off, for instance. Just want to talk to him. <laughs> talk. Lovely. He'll rend your head from your neck. Make shreds of you before you can open your mouth. Let me worry about that. Willing to do it or not? Hmm. I, too, would prefer a city calmed. But to reveal so dear a secret to a witcher. Know what? Come with me. I must tend to a certain matter. Then we'll talk. Oriana, I don't have time for that. Folk are dying and... And I'm about to mount my horse, so either ride with me or finish this moving monologue alone. Damn it. <sighs> Fine. Where are we going? Not far. You see, I maintain a kind of shelter just outside Beauclair. An orphanage, to be precise. I've heard the birds whisper. They claim a terrible thing's happened there. Under the present circumstances, I must treat this seriously. I'm sure you understand. Mm hmm Perfectly. Let's go. <laughs> Must cost a small fortune maintaining this place. What can I do? I have a weakness for children. Meaning? Meaning that I... Wait. Smell that. Blood. What happened? Where's Arno? Speak. Shh. Oh, the, the, the mon monster will go, come. Easy, little man. You're safe now. So scared. So, so scared. Of what? You can tell us. Take your time. I... I woke up because of the bells. Then the screams. I pulled the quilt over my head so I wouldn't hear. But... They were so loud. And... Something began pounding on the roof. Boom, boom, louder and louder. Then... Uncle Arno came and said, sit quiet, real quiet, shh, shh, and you'll be all right. The whole son abandoned them, left them, and ran away. What happened then? Bartes, Neve, Mora, and some others. They ran out. My sister Anna and me, we hid right here in the room. But Anna, she began to cry. I covered her mouth, whispered, shh, 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 held her long, till she stopped. You mean to say you... Drop it. Who's this Arno? The Guardian. He ran the orphanage with his wife, for a generous fee. I don't see them, can't hear or smell them either. 
They fled, left the children behind as bait. Uncle Arno told us to be quiet as mice, and a monster wouldn't come. But it did. It came. Think I know enough. As do I. Something killed my children. I'll stay with the boy. He shouldn't be left alone again. You? You track down this scum. Bring me its head and I'll help you with the Unseen. Boys hurt. Wounds need dressing. Not to worry. I'll see to it. You sure? Got a lot of practice. Just need a few minutes to... Go! Fine. See if I can't find a lead. Excellent. Go on. Get to work. Come, little one. I'll sing to you. Wolves are sleeping midst the trees, but all are swaying in the breeze. But one soul lies anxious, wide awake, fearing all manner of ghouls, hags, and wraiths. Head, shoulder, and neck wounds. Monster attacked from above. Jumped off the roof, I bet. Beast killed the children, but didn't eat them. Something scared off? Grab its attention. Claw marks. Sharp, hooked claws. Monster had an easy time climbing on the roof. Paw prints. Bipedal beast. Walks hunched over. <laughs> Smells not blood. Need to investigate. Suspects. Venom glands, long claws, a bloodsucker. Must be a Garcane, a pack leader, an alpha. For Garcanes, killing's a pleasure. Kids just whet its appetite. Must have gone after the Guardians, too. Mm -hmm. Garcane and wagon tracks merge. Wonder if the beast caught up. Roach! suffer long. Shredded her, then licked up her blood. Every last drop. Garcane ate its fill here. Probably holed up nearby to digest. Aha.
Release him. Now. I thought it would take you longer. It will. Still not done. Got one more thing to tend to. You. The orphanage. Your wine cellar, right? A larder for blood. I never said I helped these children out of the kindness of my heart. Go outside, little man, and lock the door behind you. No! Don't hurt her! Lady Oriana took care of us. She took us off the street, brought us sweets, sang to us. Leave her be! You see, Witcher? The world's not black and white. It's shades of all kinds. I drank from the children, true, but never so much as to kill. And I gave them a great deal in return. I run into dilemmas all the time. Situations where it's hard to judge, hard to know what's right, make a decision. This is not one of them. You disgust me and deserve to die. But... I'm in a hurry, and you're hiding behind a child. So you'll live this time. I'm letting you. Did what you asked. Children slaughters the work of a Garkane, one of those summoned by Dedlaf. Probably supposed to attack the city. Children sent lured it here. Yes, it carries quite away. Its sweetness teases the nose, gets the mouth watering. Unseen Elder. Where'll I find him? Talk. His lair lies west of the city, across the lake. Look for a cave near the shoreline, and this stone will open a hidden door. Not gonna take me there? I visit the Elder only when I absolutely must. You'll know why once you meet him. I'll come back for you one day. You realize that, right? Hmm. Then I shall keep an eye out for you. <laughs>